Welcome to Master Specs On Demand Training. In this video, we will be taking you through how to finish your specification document and remove the draft icon. Feel free at any time to skip ahead and view the timestamp section you require. We will begin by wrapping up the specification by preparing it for export. You will want to ensure that all tilde's, that's that wave-like character here, have been replaced in the specification with project-specific information. If you have left any tilde's in this section, we will prompt you with a pop-up with any tilde's highlighted in yellow. You can search for them and then remove or replace the tilde's within the project sections. Once you set each section to complete, you will attach your chosen MDocs and then select Finish. Next, select Manage and Print. Double check that you have set all downloaded sections to complete by reviewing your index panel on the left hand side. If all sections are set to complete, you will see green check marks in front of all the section titles. Next, select Set to Complete to finish the project specification. Before you select Update, feel free to add a note to summarize the changes that you made. If all sections are not set to complete, your specification will be labeled Draft when exported. To remove the draft icon, simply set all work sections to complete and then ensure the specification is set to complete. Once you have successfully completed the specification, you will see a large green check mark to confirm that the entire specification is complete. Next, review your contract appendix and MDocs appendix. The contract appendix will host documentation that is specific to the contract, such as fire or engineer reports. To upload documents to your contract appendix, either select Upload or Office Library. If you upload to my organization, this will be available under the Office Library tab to everyone in your practice. If you would like to upload a new document, choose the file on your computer and then select either My Organization to save it or one-off use if it's solely for this project. Add a title and description, and then select Upload. The MDocs appendix will host documentation related to the manufacturer's products that are used in your specification. To upload additional MDocs documentation, select the MDocs appendix tab, select Upload, choose your file, and then select the pertaining work section. Use the Share option, purpose of the document, and then enter the title and description. Upload the file to attach it to your specification. Lastly, to export your specification, select the Export tab. Select the file format you prefer. If you would like to export your specification, contract appendix, and the manufacturer information, select each slider. Under Manufacturer information, if selected, you will see tick boxes relating to the document's purpose. Feel free to select the boxes you wish or do not wish to export. This, for example, might be helpful if you require only the installation and maintenance documents for the builder. Continue completing the export options and then select Export Now. You will now be able to open the document. You'll notice that the specification document is bookmarked into work sections as well as hyperlinked tables of contents and appendix. The title page will also display the project ID and the table of contents page will include a project specific QR code. The QR code is proof of authenticity. This proves that this has been completed with the latest contents from a licensed master spec user. When the code is scanned, it will display a unique spec ID, version ID, project, date completed, and which practice wrote the specification. 